Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandel here. I bet that you remember ever since that you were a little kid that your parents always had milk ready for you. Now many of us continue to drink milk our whole lives and many others seem to give it up for whatever medical or scientific reasons. So regardless if you're drinking it or not, my question for you is, what percentage of milk were you drinking? There's skim milk, 1% milk, 2% milk, and whole milk. And they all have the same amount of protein, calcium, vitamins, and minerals. Although vitamin D is added to all of them, half the calories in whole milk come from fat, and one third of the calories in 2% milk come from fat. Only 1% and skim milk are truly low fat milks. So when it comes to calories, if you're drinking two to three cups of milk a day, you can lose 12 pounds in a year by just switching from 2% milk to skim milk. So if you're trying to get your family to switch to a lower fat milk, it can be difficult because the more fat, the tastier it is. You need to make the change gradually. Start by mixing whole milk in 2%, then go to all 2%. Use this for a while, then do the same thing with 1% in skim. Your family is more likely to accept the change if you take one step at a time. For decades, we've been taught that low-fat milk is healthier for us. We get less saturated fat, but lately we're seeing a reversal, and fat is being celebrated. Unfortunately, there is no true scientific consensus on this matter and many people are more confused than ever. So let's look at this chart. All the data is for one cup of milk, eight fluid ounces. We included three types of low fat milk, 2%, 1%, and 1% fat chocolate flavored. So you can see that all the options are a good source for protein, which is eight grams. And you can see from the fat content that whole milk has almost twice the calories of skim milk. So even if you're concerned that saturated fat is not the problem, that extra 65 calories can add up if you're drinking several cups a day. Many people do not like the taste of skim milk because there's no fat. But on the other hand, the fat content is what gives you that satiety feeling. So even though you're saving 65 calories, you're gonna be hungrier as compared to eating that fat. So when it comes to chocolate milk, here is something that they're not telling you about. So they're removing the fat, increasing the sugar, and the refined carbs. So I believe there is room in your diet to drink saturated fat and whole milk, as long as you keep it restricted. So if you are a heavy milk drinker, choose the lower fat options to lower those calories. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a milk drinker, or maybe not, still leave your comments below. I'm sure there'll be many. Please share this with your friends and family. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.